Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be doing a VizMe review. So if you guys are not familiar with this platform, um, I guess the best comparable platform I could probably relate it to would be something like canva.com. Um, so what this tool actually does is it allows you to create presentations, infographics, or any other sort of like um, just graphics that you might need for social media. Uh, maybe you're looking to create a banner ad, anything like that, you're going to be able to do that with VizMe. So I wanted to just show you what's on like kind of the homepage here. You can see that they allow you to create anything from presentations, infographics, reports, web content, product presentations, and even wireframes. Um, you know, they basically say that this is like a secret weapon to present your ideas visually. You can make boring data really beautiful and easy to understand. So if you had something that you want to share statistics on, you could do that and create something that's going to look really cool. Create once and present it anywhere. So you can embed it, you can download it to present it offline. Um, everything's viewable offline. You can create it in your browser. You know, you're not downloading any software. Share it on social media and you can add links into your graphics. So here's some samples of other things people have created using the platform. And you can see that they've got over 700,000 marketers, communicators, and executives, as well as educators from over 50 countries that use VizMe. So I was actually given a premium account so you guys could get an idea of what this is all about. Um, here are some other sort of features that they include. They've got some privacy options. They have lots of fonts, uh, free imagery, quality icons, different things you can add in. Um, you can add in your own media. Um, upload audio, record voiceovers, and everything right inside their editor. Um, everything is accessible from anywhere, so if you have a device like a tablet or a mobile phone, you can get into your content on any of those devices, as well as being able to share and embed it on other websites so you can use it offline. Um, there's also interactive stuff, so you can do animations, add links, pop-ups, transitions. Everything is all there for you. So let's take a look at the pricing. And then I'll walk you through the tool and kind of show you an example of how you might be able to build something. Um, just getting started with the basic, basic plan, you can do up to three projects. Um, you have unlimited access with those three projects and you get up to 100 megs in storage. Um, there's some limitation on the templates. You can download as JPEG or PNG. Um, you only get some of their charts in the widgets and um, you also get public projects. If you go up to their standard plan, which is also billed at an annual rate, the $10 a month, um, you start getting everything that's in free, but more projects, more storage, more premium assets, no, no VisMe branding. You can download as a PDF as well as JPEG and PNG, and then you get um, some color palettes. And then if you go up, you can even get um, recorded audio and limited storage and projects. Download as HTML5, a slide library, privacy. Um, you can collect leads, so that's a pretty cool feature if you're really looking for um, lead generation. You can also organize everything into folders. Now, if you go up beyond that, you're really looking at like a team, so you want multiple users. Um, they allow you to compare all the different plans, so I highly encourage you to check this out and just kind of see what's what in each plan. Um, I'm gonna log in now. I've actually got another tab already open where I'm logged in. So as you can see, once you come into the VizMe dashboard, um, the first thing I notice is you have all your projects over here on the left. Um, I created a couple like template ones I was playing around with. I didn't do a whole ton with them yet, but we're gonna do that here in this video. Um, you can see that if you wanna create something new, you can do that or import. Um, you can organize everything on the left side by folder, um, trash stuff if need be. And you also have this little video tutorial so you can learn exactly how to use the platform. What I'm gonna do is actually um, create a new VizMe and I'm gonna call this, um, I already made one very similar, but I actually have, I'm gonna call it YouTube channel art. And what I wanted to show you guys is I had someone create like a really kind of, um, I guess you could say not the greatest channel art that I I've just been using here for my blog, No Shame Income. So some of the text is coming in the link. Um, originally when I had this made, I didn't have these links here. So I didn't have anything super awesome created, you know, it was something very basic. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys an idea of how you might be able to use this. So you can kind of choose right off the start what type of project you want to create. So I could do a presentation, an infographic, a banner, and I could even do a blank slate. So if I just need something custom made, I could choose to use these um, custom dimensions, which is super helpful if you're trying to look for something that's going to be a custom size. Um, but since we're doing um, a banner, this is what we're ultimately going to use. Let me actually show you first before we do that. Here's some of the presentation templates, which you can see there 
really awesome looking. Um, if you go into one of these, you can actually kind of preview it and see what it looks like. So this is ultimately a theme that you'll be able to modify with your own content. Um, again, you have lots of different themes. I really like this one actually with the color scheme of kind of like that red, black, and um, kind of gray feeling there. And you have all kinds of different templates here you can use for your presentations. If you want to do an infographic, again, you have a ton of these infographic templates that you can start working with. So here's one like a food pyramid one. You can come in and basically edit all of the content in this and put in your own links, your own diagrams, all that stuff. So they give you a lot of templates to work with. Um, they also give you uh, infographics based on certain things like here's a process one, timeline, uh, reports. Um, let me see what else. There's tons and tons of templates. I mean, informational. So you can see the list goes on and on. I'm not going to go through all of them, but there is a lot to work with here. I mean, um, here are some of the featured ones at the very top. Really, this is a pretty cool one here. Gifts for your business clients. So you can come in and you know basically edit this with your own imagery and text. Um, but we're going to go with a banner. So the cool thing about this is you can choose between websites and blogs or social media. So under websites, this would be like different banners like a skyscraper, rectangles. You know, these are kind of like ad pieces you could use on a blog. Or you could do social media, which allows you to do something like um, a Facebook ad, a Facebook cover, Facebook posts, and you can switch between the different types of networks. So we're actually going to go do a YouTube channel, channel art, which is the 2560 by 1440. And let's see, what do I want to use for mine? Um, just to give you an example of how this might work. It's kind of cool, video game one, car one. I think I'm going to do this one with the laptop because that's pretty like business oriented. So just as like a demo, so we could just put something in here and I could kind of expand this so you can see everything is going to be editable. Um, I have up here at the very top, I can change fonts, I can change um, all the normal stuff you'd expect out of like a regular text editor. If I want to add other slides, I could certainly do that, but we're not doing that for this. Um, you've also got different objects, so in this existing template you can kind of click in and see all the different things like these little lines, um, these different pieces here I can kind of um, edit all of this so you know I'll probably have to come up with um, you know some other ideas I don't know if I want to use this background but I'll probably end up doing something with this so the idea here is that you can come in and actually add other things so maybe if I want to add an image they give you a whole directory of free images and you can see there's literally thousands so if I search something like marketing we'll just search and now you see there's all kinds of stuff coming up not really it's kind of a broad thing so let's try like the money symbol to see what happens well I will say some of the stuff that I'm finding in the free image directory isn't exactly ideal but there's clearly a lot of stuff in here you know again it is like stock photos make it even more specific let's say money okay there we go so that's probably a little bit better for what you'd probably want to search for you know now I've got like a jar of money someone holding money you know, there's a crumpled up dollar bill a woman holding money you know so that's kind of an idea of some of the things you could do and if I wanted to utilize this image I can bring it in and start editing so very similar to Canva um, I really like the way this editor works you know it doesn't feel very clunky like the thing when I've used Canva is I found that you know I was constantly just kind of battling some of the um, some of the features with like text and dragging things around and trying to make things work the way I wanted it to. Um, you can also add in like effects um, if you want to publish this. You can come in and do that. You know I can add opacity, a range. Let's see if we go back here. So you can do different things with different aspects of what you're selecting. So I mean fairly straightforward. I mean. The biggest thing with this is that you have all these templates to work with. You're going to be able to do the infographics. You can edit your own artwork. You can add in video, audio, other um, external content if you want, depending on what you're doing. So pretty wide open um, in terms of what's uh, capable with this software. And again, you'll be able to save all these as separate projects. So I do highly recommend looking at BizMe, even the, the free plan, if you're looking to do some basic editing and you don't have a ton of skills with this stuff. Uh, someone as myself, you know, I really don't personally have a whole ton of capability to do like photo editing. So this is like a godsend for me. 
So I hope you guys like this review and got a pretty good idea of what VisMe can do for you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll leave a link below this video and depending on where you're watching this, um, you can certainly check it out.